of that chill. Following that will be stage separation, where the first and second stages will separate. The first stage will flip around to make sure it's headed back towards the landing site, and our drone ship named a shortfall of Gravitas. And then the second stage will ignite its Merlin vacuum engine to boost Dragon into low Earth orbit during second engine start number one. We just heard the call out there for engine chill-in on the second stage engine starting. The last event is the pushback burn on the first stage. That's to reduce the velocity of that vehicle as we prepare for atmospheric entry. Now, all of those events happen over about 45 seconds. And again, they are main engine cutoff followed by stage separation, first stage flip, second stage engine start, and then boost back burn start. All those happening in just about five seconds. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Fantastic sight. And that startup. So the first three of those events are clear. And now the boost back burn is underway. The uh, shot on our screen right now is of the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. And as this uh, view toggles, you may catch the first stage. It is firing its Berlin 1D engines that burn on the first stage, lasting about 30 seconds. You can see the plume on the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen as we're doing the boost back burn. Stage one, boost back, shutdown. Successful shutdown of the first stage Merlin engines for the boost back burn. Second stage engine continuing to burn. That'll continue to burn until about the T plus eight minute and a 40 second mark into the mission. Now, you're just joining us. Welcome to our 25th commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station for our customer NASA. You're watching our 30th mission of 2022 and the third Dragon flight to the International Space Station this year. We lifted off just about four minutes ago from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. On your screen are views of our first stage on the left-hand side of your screen with its grid fins deployed periodically, controlling its attitude to make its way back home. On the right-hand side of your screen is a shot of the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage performing its burn. Uh, it'll continue to burn for about another four minutes to take Dragon up to low Earth orbit. Now, speaking of the entry sequence on the first stage, to make its way back to that drone ship, it's going to have to execute two more burns. The first of those is the entry burn, where we'll ignite three of the Merlin engines, and that helps slow down the stage as we enter the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. Following that, there will be a second burn, the landing burn, and there will only ignite a single Merlin 1D engine that'll bring the vehicle speed down to zero for a soft touchdown on the drone ship. We've got some great sunlight on the vehicle, and you're periodically seeing some plumes of white. That's actually from our nitrogen gas thrusters that are helping to keep the stage, the first stage oriented engines down as we are in the vacuum of space at the moment. But once we get through that entry burn, well, the grid fins, which are deployed, you can see two of them on your screen, will then take over control as we start to get atmospheric authority. And then the stage, the first stage will only use those grid fins to steer back towards our drone ship. So entry burn expected to start about 10 seconds for now. I want FPS to save. 